like, are you into white guys? I'm like, I'm in. Hey bunnies, for today's Naked Sunny video, I have my girlfriend with me, Dee Marie, and we're gonna be talking about interracial relationships. Before we jump into the topic, again, grab yourself a drink. We, Well, I'm drinking vodka cranberry. She has vodka cranberry with a splash of pineapple juice, cause she's just extra, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, so like I said, we're gonna be talking about inter interracial racial relationships. I'm talking way too loud and way too fast right now. It's okay, we'll get with the program. Y'all gotta get with the program. It's 2017, we ain't slowing down for y'all. <laughs> oh, fun fact, all of 26, well, for most of 2016 until like November, we have not seen each other like the whole year. Seriously. The first day of 2017, she's the first person I see. Like, <laughs> symbolism, watch you gonna see a lot Right? More. I feel like this is more of a discussion video, not necessarily a how to date someone outside of your race video, because I feel like that's a personal choice if you want to date outside of your race. So <laughs> let's discuss. How do you feel about interracial relationships? I feel the same way I feel about dating within your race. At the end of the day, I know that I have an attraction to a person, whether they're blue, yellow, green, orange. Mm -hmm. I mean, I haven't seen any blue yellow or green but you know regardless of their race I personally find myself attracted to the person it doesn't matter what country they come from what culture they are mm -hmm. it's simply about the person and that's how it's supposed to be I don't feel like you should have restrictions or rules on who to date and when to date them love is love if you find yourself attracted to, to a certain person or race or gender or whatever that's you. Just recently, I found myself attracted, and I'm the person that will tell you like my type down to the T. Uh -huh. And I've recently found myself attracted to someone who's like 300 pounds, pretty white, <laughs> curly hair, has a musician look, so he's not very clean. And that's usually not my type, but like, can I stop? His, his name is Bomb in my phone. Can I stop thinking about Bomb <laughs> No. And you know, I mean, hey, it's, it's who you like. The heart wants what the heart wants. You know what I mean? It sounds cheesy and cliche, but it's true. The heart wants what the heart wants. Well, have you ever dated outside of your race? I've hooked up outside of my race, <laughs> but I've never. How is it though? Like, is the sex different? The sex isn't that different. No? No, well, not from the guys the of my race that I've been with. Um, his dick was huge. See? You can't believe the height, right? Like, okay, he was the wisest white boy. No, I know yes. Italians be packing. Yes, I know them Colombians. Well, they're not really white. They be packing. Mm -hmm. Um, Irishmen. Some of them Arabian men. Ooh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had an Arabian friend named Alex. I remember him. Mm -hmm. I remember him. That's when we're going through our squat phase. Yeah, he I've never dated outside of my race. I've never even had sex with anyone outside of my race. But I mean, I thought about it. You know, mm -hmm. it's something that I've always, I've never felt like, oh, I'm not going to do it because of any reason. Like, it just hasn't happened yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what I find strange is sometimes white guys will like email or whatever and they'll be like, are you into white guys? I'm like, I'm into the person. Guys. Exactly. I'm into <laughs> girls. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be into you? <laughs> no, but seriously, like a lot of white guys really do act like they're afraid or intimidated mm -hmm. to even like you. Like, let's take Bomb B for example. Like, he's afraid to be like, to tell me I'm sexy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, he's very apprehensive, not afraid, but apprehensive because he's not sure of what my response is gonna be like, boy, or am right. I gonna be like, you know, cause <laughs> white, I mean, black women are aggressive and white, white men don't know how to take that sometimes. So, you know, he doesn't know. So I can tell that he's extremely attracted to me. So mm -hmm. I take time, I take time with him, you know what I mean? I also feel like um, white women, not white women, I'm sorry, Black women mm -hmm. get more flack for dating outside of their race. No, it's the other way around. Black men get more flack for dating outside of their race than yes. black women do. If a black woman, like take Serena Wills for example, she's mm -hmm. now engaged to this white guy only four months. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's like, yes, I want me a white man too. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. But as soon as Eddie Murphy and his right, white, exactly, they're like oh. they want to crucify him mm -hmm. because he's dating outside of his race. Like, who are you to tell the guy? Like, see, 
this is this is a tough subject because like I can go in and be like, oh, the angry black woman syndrome, mm -hmm. and you know, you guys are so hard on black men, and da 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 da. But at the end of the day, people just want who they want. Like you can't keep leaning on these excuses and justifying it with these mm -hmm. different, you know, things that happen in history. Because at the end of the day, people want who they want. Like, and if they're not gonna do it in front of you, they're gonna hide and do it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, if he married a black woman and his heart was really in love with this white girl, he gonna have a black woman. That, on it, in his wedding pictures, but he's still gonna be juicing this white girl because exactly. that's where his heart is. So just let people live, like just let people live. Let that's, people live. I think that's that's what we all need to do. Just live. Yeah, and like love we and create enjoy. these. We create these prisons for people. Mm -hmm. It's awful. I feel sorry for all you people who feel like, oh, I can't or I won't or you won't allow your heart to explore or expand. I just came up with another topic in the middle of a video. Matter of fact, now that you mentioned that, you remember my status on Facebook where About I was like, like, no, not poli- Yes. Yes. Yes, is love cursed by monogamy? Monogamy. Is love cursed by monogamy? And, and you literally love. said, the heart wants what the heart wants. Yeah, um, like, you know, you can't contain love. Love cannot be contained. That's mm -hmm. exactly what you said. God is love. You can't put God in a box, so how can you put love in a box? Exactly. Question of the exactly. day. Exactly. First question of the first year of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Not the first year, the first day of the year. No, seriously though. I mean, you can't. You can't put love in a box. You can't say, okay, like, who said that you have to love this one person mm -hmm. forever for the rest of your life? Like, that is... Christianity said that. Christianity said. <laughs> Christianity said, when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing, and you should. What What are the vows? Says the married girl. Um, <laughs> for better or worse, till death do us part. All that mumbo jumbo. You're the only person I love for the rest of my life. That 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 depresses me already. It's sad because let's say, God forbid. <laughs> <laughs> we're just counteracting everything today <laughs> let's say me and my husband for whatever reason break up get a divorce blah 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 and i just so happened to fall in love with someone else was my love for him fake was it not real did i not truly love him was not was he not really the love of my life at one point do we only get one true love or was it for a reason and a season exactly people I mean, i've been seeing all over People saying people are seasonal. Who come into your life for a season, then they leave, or for a reason, and they whole some bunch of bullshit. seasons are long. But right. I, my thing is, is that monogamy can be for some people. I just don't think, like the fact that it's blanketed amongst everyone, mm -hmm. and it's not accepted if it's not for you. So, and we're not at all saying yo go fuck around for your girl or anything like that mm -hmm. at all. Cheating is not allowed. It's not permitted. It, I feel like it's an insult to a person's intelligence. The fact that you feel like you can go out there, sleep around, and lie to my face about these. I feel like I'm not going to know it's no if you want to go out and screw Tom Dick Harry or Sally Mary and Jane Take a vote. And, bruh, just come to me <laughs> and say hey Lori I want to sleep with other people and we go from there I'm either with it or against it and then we Either I mean, stay there's together a meaning that needs to be fulfilled, regardless of what it is. And if this person is just incapable, mm -hmm. and you really love that person, are you going to allow that person to look at that void if you really, really love them? I don't think that's love. I want that person to fill the void, and if I can't fill it, please, by all means, you're not going to give me a headache every day because you have mm -hmm. that fucking void. Go fill it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But in the back of my mind, if I'm the wife, I'm gonna be like, "Bitch, you better up your game." So you <laughs> Ain't gonna lie, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a try, but if I can, I can. And this goes vice versa for the woman as well. Sometimes yeah. your man is not doing what you need him to do. There are still some men out there who will not go down on their girls for whatever reason that is. Maybe they're like super Jamaican hmm. and just refuse to eat pum pum, even though, like, I feel like at this point all Jamaican men are doing it now. No comment. I haven't had this conversation with many other Jamaican men in a while. I don't know many who don't. So, so exactly. Let me just. Can I wait? <laughs> <laughs> but if your man is not doing something that you need, that you feel like you need, you two should be able to have a conversation and say, "All right, babe, talk it out." You know what? 
this is what I need and you're not giving it to me. You can either do it for me or I'll find someone else to do it. Not saying that I'm going to, you know, fall in love with this person because it eats up my poke good. Yeah, but I'll let you watch. Exactly. But I'm gonna get it done. <laughs> <laughs> this this is like my um what's the video called? Cuckolding. It's where oh, yeah. the yeah, where mm -hmm. the guy and the girl they have another guy come in. That is popular in Jamaica actually. Yeah. Sipsy. <laughs> <laughs> That's super popular in Jamaica. Wow. Yeah. I know that. The more you know. But hey, like, I just, like, my love is different. Like, and I think it was because of that's what, I mean, I was raised around so much love and acceptance for people. Like, my, my mom, she is literally like a blazing homosexual so like my limit of judgment on people is like tiny mm -hmm. you know what I mean like I accept all people and whoever you love is who you love and I've seen it be a beautiful thing so I'm not gonna let society or any of these different perspectives come and make it an ugly thing because that's not the world I want to live in mm -hmm. once you make it an ugly thing you're choosing to live in an ugly world and then that's how you react to it and that's what manifests inside of your world you ugly person like you just can't. You have to be, you have to create your world. Take power. Make it a beautiful thing. Like, right. even if they're different from you, that's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. What if you were just like that? Mm. No, no two people, <laughs> like, literally, no two people are the same. No two people are no the same. You gotta celebrate that shit. It's 2017. Give it the program. Uh, live your life. Enjoy your life. Love your life. Know that, like we said, no two people are the same. 2017. <laughs> No two, <laughs> no two people are the same. Happy New Year. Celebrate differences. Lighten up. Laugh a little. Drink Just live water. your life. I feel like we strayed way off, way off the topic. Like we we're talking about interracial relationships. I know we're talking about... No. We're, we're still, still on topic. topic. What am I talking about? Oh, you just extra, Lori. Jesus. Okay. But, yeah. In our opinion, we are pro-swirl. Swirl life. I love black love. I support the shit out of it. Black love is beautiful. But the heart wants what the heart wants. If you find yourself being attracted to another race, another gender, embrace that shit. Love who you love and allow them to love you back. Yes, that's the key. Happiness is let love and love. Love? Love? Love and let love. That makes sense? Love? Let go and let God. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys Peace want to, <laughs> I wasn't done. Uh, if, you... <laughs> if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, her channel, <laughs> hit the button right there. Subscribe and <laughs> peace, love, and kissy face. <laughs> oh, that was a good outro. Very young lady. You don't have the light on. Right now, it's time. Alright, do it again. The main thing. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs>